In this tutorial, we're going to demonstrate how to export invoice data from All Data Manage Online to QuickBooks Desktop. And in this demonstration, we're using QuickBooks Pro 2010. As a prerequisite, we recommend you set up both your sales class codes and the QuickBooks export function first, and you can view a tutorial on that by clicking the link up here in the top right corner. So, assuming we have everything set up to actually export one or a series of invoices, we'll go over to Accounts here, and we'll go to the bottom and select QuickBooks Desktop Export. The QuickBooks Export function gives you three options for exporting data, General Ledger, Accounts Payable, and Accounts Receivable. General Ledger and Accounts Receivable export the same information. However, the General Ledger includes only a summary of invoices, credits, sales taxes, payments, and credits received. The Accounts Receivable option includes far more detail of your invoices, credits, sales taxes, payments, and credits received. And let's state right off the bat here that we highly recommend you choose Accounts Receivable instead of General Ledger. The additional information will be more helpful for your accounting needs and exporting both will only create duplicate information in QuickBooks, which is something you'd probably want to avoid. Now, the Accounts Payable option in the middle exports your vendor purchase invoices, but for our demonstration, we'll show you how to export the Accounts Receivable information and what it looks like in QuickBooks Pro 2010. So first step here is to choose the time frame for exporting your data. The Today option obviously allows you to export information at the end of the current day. The Date range allows you to choose a week's worth of information, for example. Either way, for consistency, we highly recommend choosing one option that suits your accounting workflow and stick with it. For this demonstration, I'm going to choose Date range, but I'm just going to choose the one day, as I know I have some information to export for this date. Now I'm going to click Export to IIF. Now the IIF file stands for Intuit Interchange Format, and it's a proprietary text file used by Intuit's QuickBooks software and can be easily read by Microsoft Excel. Now I'm using Chrome as my browser, so you'll notice that it downloaded the file here, and depending on your browser, you'll need to locate that downloaded file. You can save this file to a convenient location on your computer. So our next step is to go into QuickBooks software. We'll open the file, Choose Utilities, Import, and select IIF Files. And when we select this, we simply navigate through our computer to where we save that downloaded file. For this example, we're just going to click through our downloads file and retrieve it from there. Okay, here's the file in my download folder, and it's worth noting the file name has the extension AR to denote that it's an accounts receivable file. General Ledger, if you choose to download that, will have GL at the end, and accounts payable will have AP at the end of the file name. So let's open the file, and we might have to wait a minute or so, depending on how much information we exported. All right, so we'll click OK and that file is now imported into QuickBooks. So let's verify that the information imported to QuickBooks correctly. The first thing we can do here is make sure the invoices imported correctly. We'll go to the Customs tab and choose Create Invoices. And if I choose Previous, I can now see the invoice that just came from Manage Online. We can compare that because the invoice number exported from Manage Online matches the invoice number in the field here in QuickBooks. So let's remember the invoice number I001277. So if I go over to Manage Online and choose Shop Documents, Document Search, when I enter that invoice number I001277 and open it to look at the invoice details, the same exact information came across. So here we can see the total was $389.40. And if we look over to the QuickBooks screen, it shows the same amount, $389.40. Now, a couple of things to be aware of, especially if you're looking for the customer information. In Manage Online, a customer is defined by a unique customer ID. Now, that unique ID came over to QuickBooks. So if we go into Customers, and under Customer Center, you'll see a list of numbers here. Now, these numbers are the Manage Online customer ID. Our current customer, Michelle Shaw, 
you can see has a customer ID of 304. If we do a quick find for customer ID 304 in QuickBooks, then I get the invoice detail for this customer, and of course, it's the same invoice that I just looked up. Now, with this invoice information, if I click on Edit Customer over here, we can see the customer's full name, phone number, and so long as I have my customer's address populated in Manage Online, well, that will import over here as well. Now, we also want to check to see if the chart of accounts match as well. So let's click on Lists, Chart of Accounts, and we can see that the chart of accounts in Manage Online matches here in QuickBooks for this company. Additionally, the sales class codes we defined in Manage Online when we set up this integration also import into QuickBooks. And you can watch that setup tutorial up here. As you can tell here, the sales class codes in Manage Online created the income accounts in QuickBooks based off the sales class code numbers and the description that you set up in Manage Online. But just remember that any adjustments to these accounts after the export will duplicate the account if you export it again. Okay, well that's how to export invoice data from Manage Online to QuickBooks Desktop.